I never outsource leadership of a team. Uh, I think leadership is something that requires a long-term relationship. Now, with that said, if someone is leading a team that is conjointly pushing towards achieving a project or completing a project, I would want um, that leader to work very closely with or have a consultative approach with the agency. Um, what do I look for in an agency or what do we look? We work with agencies from pure digital marketing, content strategy to creative services, right? Like develop, just developing content and building that. I always want the strategic approach from an agency though. So the big picture, like if someone's like, if, if I say, I just want you to make this video, I hope that the person, the company, the agency that is making that video is going to ask me some pretty strategic questions. Like who's your audience? Where is this going to live? What are you trying to achieve with it? Um, because not only do you need to ask those questions, but they're also challenging me and my team to make sure we've thought about that because they want to create a video that's going to drive a result. I want an agency to also say, I want to be, what am I going to be measured off of? I want to be measured off of something. I want to show that I've, I've shown, given you success or shown success through something. So let's talk about what measurements that can, that we can pull together. KPIs is what normally people say. Mm -hmm. um, so that we know we've achieved that. Or I know I've achieved that. You know, that's just transparency and setting expectations on the relationship. And I love when agencies are proactive in that. Depends on the size of the company, your in-house talent, um, how much work there is to do, like what your bandwidth, what your budget is, that kind of thing. This said, I do think that people should avoid outsourcing, if at all possible, um, measuring marketing's performance or impact. In my experience, at least, some agencies um, like to hang their hats on vanity metrics, like impressions or right. number of leads. Um, and while these metrics are fine, you know, from an, a leading indicator perspective, um, I think one really needs to understand how activity drives results. And for that, really having an understanding of your own CRM, um, your marketing automation platform, that kind of thing is really important for marketers to have that capability in-house. In most of our agency partnerships are our partnerships. They're long-term partnerships. Uh, we work with them on, on an expanded basis in the sense that we're not just working on one particular program. It's, it's usually a, you know, a set of programs. You know, they play a critical role in, in you know, advising us and counseling us on, on different areas of the business. Uh, and it's not, again, seen as sort of a project orientation. I really, uh, I, while the project orientation may be how the um, partnership is designed from, you know, an SOW perspective, it's not how we work together. And I feel like you really do have to treat your vendors and your agencies as partners versus versus vendors mm -hmm. and, you know, know that there's that mutual respect and alignment in terms of goals. Uh, and, you know, and that you're really sort of on a mission together. Core strategy, you, you, you've got to have really good people that can can come together and design, you know, the core strategy and the core focus of, of specific areas of the teams. And that's where I don't think that you can outsource that to someone. You can take, you know, sort of fundamentally what you know is an area that you you need to grow and expand upon and, and take that strategy and 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 start to work externally. But I think just the core sense of value, the core sense of strategy, the core sense of who we are and who we need to be and what we need to achieve, you can't rely on an, on an outside vendor to mm -hmm. dream that or derive that for you. I think that has to come from your internal components. That cultural fit, you refer to it as, uh, as chemistry. And if I can't get that good feeling early on, um, if you feel you're just being sold to rather than somebody trying to understand it, if, if you don't have somebody that's curious, inquisitive, and uh, can give examples of where things haven't really gone that well and what they did to repair it, I, I just, it turns me off instantly. So I, I tend to make my mind up uh, fairly quickly after the team have gone through the initial assessment. It's a personal thing at the end of the day, and if it, it's just not working straight away, I, I will I'll go find another one.